Now, guys, you see this pillar? Hmm, that support beam is weak. The slightest hit would crumble it. We need to use this, this protected bug on this beam. And to use it, we need to press it right here. I think, yes, this is how we get rid of the huge Goliath bug. Hey, how are you doing? I'm JJ and welcome back to several journeys of Remus chapter number four. Now, if you haven't seen chapter number one, two or three or the prologue, then I suggest you go and do that. I'm going to leave them in the video description because they are all connected to each other. And now this is going to be the last chapter. It is the longest one. So I'm thinking I'm going to split them into two separate videos and without any more further hesitation let's go and check out chapter number four overshadowed by the exploits of his famous brother remus the exterminator and his trusty sidekick liam embark on a journey to create a legacy of their own after successfully destroying the queen of the ants remus receives a personal invitation to visit the royal castle by the king of red Hookus himself assume it Assuming it can only mean fame, riches, and a royal marriage to the princess, Remus and Liam happily journey to meet their destiny. Unfortunately, after arriving at the castle gates, they find the kingdom abandoned and infested with horrific death slugs. To make matters worse, after years of exile in swamps of the north, the long-forgotten race of Gigax have also returned. Fearing those two events may be linked, our heroes brave certain doom and journey deep into the lair of the devouring worm to consult within all knowing parasite from the eye of the parasite liam sees their fate unfold the alien race of death slugs has enslaved the gigax into an army of destruction this monstrous war machine currently marches towards the people laying waste to all things in the path for remus and liam this only means one thing opportunity finally after years of toiling in obscurity a quest has fallen into their laps that can once and for all cement extermination as a heroic carrier path if they can officially lay claim to this quest before any other hero the reputation of remus may finally soar higher than his brothers now only one thing stands between them and fate the beastie black hole of bureaucracy guys we are back okay liam that's the castle of dendricus we have to get in and get this quest approved before the ship full of death slugs and gigax land on the shores now if you haven't seen the previous episode basically this is how it ended the ship full of those amazing <laughs> alien race death slugs will soon be right here so time is of the essence once they see a hero of your state statue remus we should be officially questioning heroes in one time wow that's that's one conf confident opinion <laughs> I remember this one. We need to register an epic quest, one so huge that, let me guess, that the fate of the known world hangs on its balance. Yeah, I know, honey. You're 6-1 six, six, today. Fill out this paperwork and get in line. The quest approval board will meet with you in six months to review your application six months listen lady we need to embark on this quest today uh, sorry honey if we just let everyone wander off on an epic adventure whenever they want it would never get anything accomplished everyone would be off collecting keys and combining inventory while the day-to-day -day chores of the town life went to hell in the hand basket is there no faster way to get this approval through the system? Well, there is one way. You can fill out the paperwork yourself and submit it online. Online? Yes, it's a brand new do-it-yourself type thing. All you need to do is fill out the paperwork with free heroic re references and a danger sample from your quest. Submit it online and it will be proceeded instantly. 
but we don't have any local references. We're, f we're from Fredericus. Well, there's lots of hero postings on the job board. Maybe you can find something there. Good luck. All right, so guys, basically, this is submitting online. How is it, how is it working? You basically you need to submit your quest online. So applications, as far as an eye can see, this is a problem. Guys, don't you worry. We have a solution. So this is the board. These are the quests. And well, I'm guessing we're gonna start with we need help with hornets. Call Etna. Let's go and save Edna from the hornets. We need to go into the gardens. And this is Edna. Good day, madam. I hear you're in need of heroic services. Yes, badly. I have a royal bouquet to put together, but I can't get near my flowers without being stung. Well, ma'am, you've called the right man. There isn't a stinger big enough to stop me. It's true, this one time a giant bumblebee stung him in the face, Remus still managed to destroy that hive and win the town win the town hot dog eating contest. <laughs> Liam exaggerates. I actually came in the second place. That's good, because those hornets are nasty. Well, from the looks of it, they sure are. Any idea where their nest is? This note might hold a clue. I managed to steal it from him while he was gorging himself on pulling. So, guys, if you are good at these type of things, I am bad. I, I don't know how you need to complete it, but I know how to complete the game. So if you have any idea what this says, you are always welcome to post that in the, uh, in the video description. Bas basically, this is trunk, so three minus H, that's three, three trunk. Okay, tree trunk. I got it. So, um, I, I, if I would sit here for a while, I could actually crack it, but not right now. We, the time is at the essence, right? So, uh, hmm, pure gibberish. This won't help at all, but I know how to complete the game. So, wait, this is Hornet code. If we can solve it, this, perhaps it will lead us to their nest. Oh, yes, of course. I meant this won't help them at all. They're as good as dead. Oh, boy. Okay, Liam, let's figure this out. Guys, so what we need to do, we need to put, take and take this hose. Actually, I can open this whatever I want. Now let's close it. Now if Liam goes anywhere close to the stinger, to the hornet, it's actually might sting me. And I think I can, yeah, I cannot take any anything. So we need to go to the to the right because this is where the fun begins. We can actually take this shield. It could come in handy and it will because right now we need to use the shield on the hornet and guys look i can actually protect myself bada boom <laughs> thank you for the stinger mr dude let's take it because we will need it later and we can actually grab this one uh, i think it's called i better be careful this is a fire thistle moisture causes it to produce poisonous gas now we need to be extremely careful with this one let's go to the right now i need to use the stinger on this tree i finally figured out this hornet code pry open first round hole in the tree trunk okay got it so basically this is what it said pry open first round tree hole in the tree trunk well basically i managed to crack last two words so i'm proud of myself okay <laughs> good work liam this door is slightly ajar i should be able to pry it open okay you just do that and we are gonna find a slingshot inside thank you very much and now there's another code but i think this one is it's a little bit easier so basically that's a scarf without e so guys um uh, scarf minus e scar scare owl down the pine I think something like that. Okay, because I know what we will need to do next. So let's just close this one, go to the right, and go to the right again, because this is where the owl is located. And uh, guys, we need to, I think we can actually use a slingshot. I need some ammo first. And here it is, lying down. And guys, I believe Liam will, is going to crack the code. Yeah, yes, that's it. The message says, scare owl off pine. Down the pine, off pine whatever <laughs> okay let's just let's just scare it my pleasure bada bam bye bye and this is where the hornet's nest is located so guys this is the very very important stuff so if you do remember this fire thistle actually produces poisonous gas whenever uh it comes in touching with the water so we need water and this is where the water hose will come in handy we need to put this one inside that tree bam 
Haha, uh -huh. you can thank me for the indoor swimming pool later, Hornets. All right, the tree is completely flooded. Now we just need a need a way to kill the Hornets inside. And this is where this fire thistle will come in handy. Bye bye, Hornets. I'm sorry. This should smoke them out. And yep, those Hornets. I'm sorry. Haha, <laughs> that will teach them. All right, Liam, our work here is done. And now we can actually go and talk to Etna. Hi. Wow, I'm impressed. I really didn't think you were going to pull it off. Would you mind putting that in writing? Maybe leave out the part about thinking we couldn't pull it off. Okay, so we have our first quest completed because we need to complete three quests, right? Whenever you go into a Hornet removal job complete Complete and not a sting mark on us. My brain must be getting smarter. Or the Hornets are getting dumber. <laughs> I love Liam. So now, you see, um, a quest application guideline. We need to complete three heroic quests. Now, one, we did complete the the, uh, the stingers. So it says we need two. And then we need to acquire the danger sample. And then we will be good to go. And because we will need to submit it online. This is good. Now, so basically, uh, let's go and get the problem with the seeking hero to help with the Goliath be beetle problem. I love this one. Goliath beetle. How big could it really be? It's big, guys. It's really cool looking. Amazing. Huge. I present you. <laughs> the Goliath beetle. This one, that's one big beetle. Yes, Lion, but the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Or the harder they are, are to move. So basically, this is the dude that we need to save. Help, I'm, I have a load of important policies, uh, popsicles, that I'm going to melt if this giant bug doesn't get out. Policies, popsicles, okay. Not fear, good merchant. I will move this gargantuan my and say my your icy treats cool now you just go and try to do it okay okay big brute be gone or else what or else i'll move you i'd like to see you try i will beat you with my mighty fist boom haha <laughs> you puny little man you are no match for the strength of the goliath but guys this is what we need to do you think we are stupid. The beetle thinks we're stupid, but no, we need to punch him again just because, you see, whenever we punch him, he punches this huge, uh, huge bridge. And now we have plank, which is gonna help us. Now, let's grab this one. Thank you. A nice sturdy piece of wood. And guys, do you remember this dude? We already used it in the previous uh, episodes. We need to light it with a stick. And by the way, <laughs> I I'm gonna surprise you. What's this? I better watch out. Those are beach bombs. Highly flav flammable and explosive. So, we have a, a fire stick. Let's just use it right here. <laughs> because bombs away. Why not? Boom. But it's not it. This is not, this is not how we actually use to blow off this bridge. Now, let's just grab this little beetle. Cute pill bug. And we need to prepare. Uh, it's a too big to pick it up. Okay, cool. Got it. Now, I think I need to use the stick on this rock. So, we need to prepare the catapult right here. Just like so. Thank you. Um, well, I guess that's as far as I'm going to move that. Cool. And now, I need to use this stick. Bam. And I think I need to use this one. It's too heavy to move. I think, yeah, the stick should come in handy again. And, yeah, Liam is actually so small compared to those rocks. Now, I think we're all set up. Uh, so, we need to use... A oh, wait a second. I think we need to scare. Hey, do you think you could talk to your fellow bug and get him to, to move for us? Let's just... Yeah, let's just try it. Hey, dude. He... I guess that's... They aren't on speaking terms. Now, he is afraid and he is protecting himself. Now, guys, you see this pillar? Hmm, that support beam is weak. The slightest hit would crumble it. We need to use this this protected bug on this beam. And to use it, we need to press it right here. I think, yes, this is how we get rid of the huge Goliath bug. Bombs away, bomb voyage, bam. I'm sorry. Now, this is not over. Hey, Remus, do your job. All right, I'm done warming up. Get ready for the full fury of Remus. Bam. Yep. Oh, mighty Remus, I'm sorry. No puny man has ever moved Goliath. I bow to your strength. 
And don't you forget it, my popsicles are saved! Remus is a hero to all, including frozen sugar water on a stick. Now, how about a quick signature reference, my heroism? Absolutely, but how do I get across? My bridge is destroyed. You must have an, some extra popsicle sticks with you, right? Just lay them down, they should make a great makeshift bridge. By the way, there's a still one plank, so you can actually use it. Now, quest complete. We have completed two quests, which is what we need to do. So, uh, you see, Liam, I told you freakish... I told you freakish strength ran, ran in my family. Any luckily spontaneous... And luckily spontaneous problem solving runs in mine. Okay, cool. Spontaneous problems... Okay, this is what Liam is good for. So, again, we have two quests complete, and I think we are gonna complete the last one in the marketplace, because, oh, I do, oh, that's, that's really cool one. So let's go into the marketplace, and um, there is, there's a merchant. Are you need, in need of assistance? Yes, that dirty grocer is killing my business. His body lies are out of control and scaring away all my customers. Ew, I was hoping for something a little more, a little more on a heroic side. Hey, you'd be a hero to my business. Listen, you need you help me. You help me out and I'll give you free tonic for life. Okay, that's that sounds cool. I have a really great hair grown formula. Why would I need that? Um of course you don't. I thought maybe for um the friend over there. Mm, good idea. Male Pattern baldness does run in Liam's family. We'll do it. I, I, <laughs> Remus misunderstood. He was talking. Okay. You know what, guys? What we need to do. See, this dude has some lies. And we need to get rid of those lies. Not the merchant, but those lies. And what we need to do, we need to use this formula. So, whenever you combine, for example, uh, H with S, uh, I think nothing happens. Let's try it. Yeah, nothing happens. But uh, if we combine, combine H with P... Boom, nothing happens again, but with H with uh, C... Yes, we have just crafted ourselves a hair cleaner. Now, let's combine every single possibility, because I... Yep, hair growth, which is what we will need later. H and R, cool, something again. Now, we have already tried every single possibility with letter H. Now, S and... P, no results, S and C should give me a shirt cleaner, thank you, we will need it later, I'm gonna show you now, S and G, does it give anything? Yes, shirt growth, cool, now S and R, yes of course, shirt removal, now P and C, anything? Yes of course, plant cleaner, why, I don't know, P and G, uh, EPNG plant growth, cool, and P and R, I think no results should be, no, it is plant removal, cool, now C, okay, I have all tonics, oh, that's it, I have all the tonics, so basically with these tonics, I need to um, make that merchant go away, now, I think I need plant removal first, right, plant removal, no, 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 oh, oops, wait a second, or plant growth first. Plant growth. Plant cleaner, plant growth. Uh, should I use it right here? Please, just grow. Yes, and I think... Sh can I use it again? Because I need... Use it again? Yes, of course. Yes. Boom. Now, you see that dude is taking off his jacket. This is what we want. Now, we need to use the shirt removal on that dude to remove the shirt. And you can see those lies on his chest. Gosh, now, what we need to do, we need a hair growth to use it on him. Cool, and he's not even moving, that's so cool. Now, what we need to do, we need to use, I think, the hair removal so that we can actually remove the hair from this chest, so the lice will go into the hair. Uh, why? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, look. Because whenever you use the head lice shampoo on the chest here, it does not work. You see, this stuff only works on a head lice, not body lice. So we need to use the uh, word hair removal on the chest. Beam. Now, you see, the lice are on the hair, the head here, which is what we need. Now, let's use it on the head here. Come on, Remus. Boom. 
this is how we dispose of the lice. Dead. Another insect falls at the hands of my Remus. Now, this is not done. We need to loosen his hair. Uh, hair cleaner. Um, hair removal. Shirt removal, hair growth, plant shirt, hair removal. This is what we need. We need to remove his hair. And now I think the last thing that I need is um, shirt growth. I know it sounds crazy, but we need to grow the shirt again just because customers might get scared whenever they see dude like this. Well, shirtless. That's it. I can't believe it. I'm saying if you need a reference, feel free to use me anytime. Another quest completed, guys. This is how we do it. Oh, cool. Now, um, well, that's the first time I mixed a bunch of drinks and didn't end up passed out under the table. Your heroic focus is unwavering Remus. Cool. So basically, we did complete uh, two quests. Three quests, right? Yeah, we need to complete. Yeah, we did complete two quests. Now we need only one, and then we will need to acquire the danger sample. And guys, I think we will do it in the next episode because wow, this one is already quite long. But guys, I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, leave a like. If you want to check out the next, uh, the next episode for chapter number four, uh, you're always welcome to subscribe to my channel. And guys, I hope you again did enjoy this episode. If you did, that's amazing. And I'm gonna see you all tomorrow in the next episode. Bye-bye.